<laughs> Comedy Album of the Year. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Hi, thanks. Choose Mike. Okay. Any Mike. Cozy in with your Juno. The pink one's the only one that anyone wants. I'm so sad it's... for the Maybe other Maybe what we should do is shuffle the order and see if that's... Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, how are you? Congratulations. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm doing all right. It's still all such a crazy experience for me. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm just ecstatic about this. Now, you're from Vancouver. You yes. win here in your hometown. I don't know how we haven't met, by the way. We know lots of people in common, which is kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, was there like a first moment in your life when you thought you were funny? Yeah, I mean, I I grew up with brothers, so we. Were you the youngest? I was the middle. Oh, so I'm the, the misunderstood middle child. I'm the mediator, basically. Mm -hmm. So the comedy I think came from being the uh, just trying to break tension, because there would be like fights over whatever TV channels to watch or what chair we get or who gets milk. And uh, <laughs> was milk like a, a, a <laughs> who got in to demand eat that night? commodity? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. Maybe it was. <laughs> It's all coming back to me, but I, yeah, I mean, I, you know, it was nice to get to be the one that, like, when those tense moments happen, I would sort of try to be silly and ridiculous. Is that where you draw a lot of your funny from? Those moments, or the day to day, or what is it that inspires you? Yeah, I kind of like the juvenility of of comedy. I think some of the purest laughter out there is like when you were a kid, the things that made you laugh because you didn't know there was nothing, there was no preconceived notion of what should be funny or mm -hmm. what shouldn't, and so I try to get back to that I think with stand up cuz I like I really like that that laugh that just comes from somewhere further back. Did you have a time when you were a kid when you realized what it meant to be funny and to get like uh, people to pay attention to you in that way? Yeah, definitely. I mean, again, middle child, mm -hmm. uh, I was always fighting for attention. <laughs> so, uh, it was a lot of that. Like there was that kind of uh, I remember there was actually a time this is a quote from my older brother when we were kids. I don't know if he remembers this. But he actually, one time we were just hanging out in the backyard, and he was just, just like looked up from the sandbox, and he's like, "You know, mom and dad only laugh at your jokes to be polite. They're not funny." <laughs> <laughs> and then you say, "Brothers, who's man. laughing now?" Yeah, exactly. So, well, it was good. He pushed me in the direction I needed to be. I need to actually uh, work hard. So, is this award laughs. like expressly just to prove your brother wrong? Like, is he, are you just purely <laughs> driven by resentful feelings from no, the past? No, not at all. Uh, it's, uh, I love my family so much. They've always been so supportive of me and, and in doing this. I mean, it is such a ridiculous undertaking that has no clear path yeah, to any kind like, of... Yeah, like, how do you be a comedian in Vancouver? Like, wh what would be the biggest challenge or struggle being a comedian here in this city? I don't know, rent? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh... Do you feel supported? Yeah, I, I, there's so many great rooms here. Like, I've, I've done comedy now, like, all across the country and through parts of the United States, and I think one of the coolest things about Vancouver is that when you start out in comedy, when you go to shows, there's people in the crowd that want to see you. Mm -hmm. When you first start, if you're a new comic in so many of these other cities, there's nobody there. It's just the other comics waiting to go on. So you have to try to make them laugh, but they don't care because they're waiting to go up. And so it's this weird thing where you're basically just talking to an empty room. And that's kind of how you figure it out. But so I, was, I feel very spoiled that I got to come up in an environment where people want to go out and we're have a good time here. We're all looking for a laugh because yeah. we're just broke. And we're just like, come on, <laughs> Maybe it's something. the rain. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> well, congratulations on your Juno. Uh, I'm glad that you can finally tell your brother to yeah. shove it. <laughs> yeah, take that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, enjoy the rest of your night, man. Thank you. Have a Thanks great time. So much. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Yeah, congratulations. Cheers.